The project is uh, about the design of a case mix information system containing quantitative and qualitative data about patients. The first aim of our system was to get more and better information about the patients. The second aim of our system was to support taking decisions with regard to who to treat in a hospital and how to treat them. The third aim was to use this information for planning and monitoring of activities, capacity and money. The fourth aim of this system was to use this information for internal and external legitimation, for example towards insurance companies and ministries. A couple of years ago we started to use the portfolio analysis and it was very helpful in our management. I'll give two examples. The first example is this green dot. This one represents the obstetric high care activities. As you can see, it is on the left-hand corner, which means that we have a high priority for this activity. However, it's more costly than that the benefits there are. So we have to discuss whether we want to do this. Yes, we want to do this because it is relevant in our uh, portfolio. We have this dot which represents recurrent miscarriage. We don't think it is a very important activity from a clinical point of view, but it is relevant for research. So if it is low prioritized, but it is beneficial, we are happy with this activity. In former days, it used to be on the left hand side and it was costly and it was not high prioritized. So we discussed with the clinicians, what are we going to do? Are you going to get a better price for your activity or are you going to do less of it? What they did is they were uh, active in getting a better price for the activity and now since it is on the right side we continue this activity. As far as it relates to recurrent miscarriage it's not only getting a better price but also reducing costs and that's what the clinicians did as well. We look at the management information system to look at the length of stay of our patients and we look at the information in combination to the information about the condition of the patient and the condition of the patient is relevant especially for people uh, undergoing surgery and that actually enables our head nurses to look at the planning and actually forecast how many patients are coming in and that enables us to deliver the best care that we can in our nursing departments. When Frank came the first time in 2006-2007 with his idea about patient care profiles, the idea was great. But unfortunately, in the beginning, the data were not reliable. It took us a few years working together as clinicians and people from the financial department to, in a feedback loop, find out what was wrong and how we could improve. But now the system has tremendously improved. We get monthly and quarterly data, which really helps to manage which diseases we are treating here what the costs are and how we can make the best decisions to give optimal patient care to our patients. If you'd like to know more about this project, please contact us.